Bonjour, guten Tag. And I wanted to bring my beagle, um, but he's very disobedient and greedy. And if any of you had your packed lunches in your bags, he would be not sitting here listening to me. He'd be eating your lunch. So I borrowed um, Miss Harper's puma standing in for Oscar the beagle. Right, you might know that embarrassment is a really good method of remembering things. Something you've done in your life that went wrong and was embarrassing will not be forgotten. And maybe reading some things that you're trying to revise to one of your pets, or an unwilling brother or sister, or a parent who's got something else on their mind, especially if other people catch you doing that, could be embarrassing and could help you to remember it. So some of us in managers at the moment are coming up to cats and we might want to read our draft or our potential answers to a pet in a loud and stupid voice to enable us to remember that when we sit down with a dictionary and nothing else except what's up here. So I might start my cat about uh, my recent school trip. <coughs> Bonjour Oscar. Je m'appelle Madame Merci et j'ai voyagé avec mon collège en France. On a visité une chocolaterie et après on a visité Paris et le tour y fait, c'est magnifique. Now I could go on a bit longer, but if I do that a few times and in a stupid voice and can make my dog continue to sit here with a biscuit, he knows if he sits there he'll get his biscuit, I might think back to that experience. Revision is so boring that you need to find different ways to make it a little bit more memorable. It's only any use if you remember it. So I've been saying to quite a few students, talk to your pet in the language you're learning, that might help. Uh, we'll be back in a moment for another uh, revision technique.